here we're using the freely downloadable paint.net uh, photo editing software it's good you've got layers over here in the right hand side um, you've got the history of the operations you've done you've got your selection of tools over here on the left and obviously more detail in the menu bars at the top and I've just started off by opening the picture that I want to edit it's Coco Chanel I'm just going to take a fragment of that so the first thing I want to do is zoom in so I can just do control plus and it'll allow me to zoom in quite a lot the more I zoom in the more detailed it's going to be I can move these out of the way because I'm not going to need them and I'm just going to choose the rubber here on the right hand, left hand side uh, and I'm going to stay with a really chunky rubber because I'm just going to do it quickly to demonstrate um, you'd probably want to take more time with that at the same time I'm rubbing out the background which is helpful great that's roughly right that's roughly right as well there we go uh, if you, when you're doing this obviously you want to be as precise as you can so the final image looks really good so you might want to go down to even two or one pixel at the end to tidy up those edges very nicely okay I'm not going to do that um, and then you can use the lasso tool which is here it looks like the magnifying glass but with a curvy edge uh, but again you get a rectangle around the canvas so you might as well go with a rectangle tool straight away just going to move the toolbar out of the way so I'm going to take a picture of just that selection I want because we want the canvas as close and as tight around our actual image otherwise it's going to cause problems in GeoGebra later when we're trying to select different parts uh, I'm going to control C it and then I'm going to do a new file uh, OK because it automatically sets a canvas size that's the same as the one I want great uh, and we're almost there because most of it's invisible we just want to get the rest of that background invisible so you have the magic wand tool in paint.net I just click on the background that I don't want and control X backspace won't do it and now it's totally transparent and now I'm just going to do file save as and it gives me a list of file formats so I could choose JPEG I could choose GIF etc but we want PNG because otherwise we might lose the transparency um, when we're putting it into GeoGebra yeah great okay so that was called Coco Fragment brilliant just please that's all good and so here I am how did I insert that well what do you do you click third run along you've got insert image click where you want the bottom left corner of it to be double click on the image and it inserts it for you and you're away over to you best of luck